What's up YouTube, Snatchpato here and welcome to another installment of Bullet Battles where I'm going to be playing a five match series against the chess.com user pool. So let's get into it here with our, fir well, our first one minute match, or one minute game in the five match series against whoever wants to challenge us. Uh, my rating is quite high compared to usual, uh, it's 2000 right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm going to try and see if we can't gain any more rating points here. Probably shouldn't spend much time, you know, not moving in the opening. Because that's where you can save a lot of time. You take there, take here, and play bishop d3. Whoa, a bit of lag there. A bit of computer lag, but that's fine. We've caught up on time somehow. I'm going to play a3 just to stop knight b4 hitting my bishop. Because I think I want to play bishop b1 and queen d3 here. And look at this weak h7 square. So we're threatening mate. He'll probably play g6. Now we're going to try and reroute this knight and play h4, h5 if I can. But the problem is right now, <clears throat> if I play h4, he's just going to take it. Because right now I can't stop him. So I'm going to play quickly. Hmm. I'm going to double rooks just because I want to keep a double. Um, I want to keep a, a heavy piece on this diagonal. I'm just going to go here to prevent the knight jumping into c4 and just reroute this knight. And now I can play h4. Queen's still going to take because I'm going to still be on this piece. Uh, if he takes, so be it. I think I'm going to try and reroute to f4 now. I still maintain control of b3, so that's important. Uh, where can this knight reroute to? Maybe I'll go to a4. No, then his bishop can just get on this diagonal and really hurt me. So I might improve my king position. I'm down a little bit on time, but not not heaps. Maybe I can go for e4, e5 now that these pieces are on this um, file together. And this check might win the bishop. So if I can get the bishop pair, it won't be too bad for me. I could kick the bishop now. Um, let's just block this up. Because he has the two bishops, so I want to keep it as closed as possible. Play h4, might even try and put our knight in on g5. <clears throat> That'll be pretty useful square. I'm uh, just going to make sure I don't give him any counterplay here. Just like that. Let's go king over so we can protect this pawn. And probably put my bishop on d3 now. Try and hit this pawn. And we'll put a knight here on c3. See if we can get at this guy. Uh, I don't have a lot of time, but we might be able to catch up a little bit. If the bishop goes too far away, I'm going to jump. In. I'm going to jump in here anyway, and we might even go for just f3, h4, or maybe, maybe just this. Um, we get this pawn now, and we're going to jump straight in here. Uh, we'll take this instead. Go check. Oh, it's not check, but it's attacking the knight. Oh, unfortunately, he attacks my pawn. <clears throat> Should be okay for now. Hit the king. Go here. How much time do I have? Five seconds. That's enough. Check the king. Probably go here. I don't know what I'm really doing, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm playing quickly enough. Quickly enough to get one victory. We'll see if Pac Knight Foru would like a rematch. He does. So we'll play our Karo, which is going to turn into a Slav. Because, oh, well, maybe not. Only if he goes C4 will it turn into a Slav. And my bishop's outside the pawn chain, just like his. So he's playing a London system, and I'm going to try and trade that bishop off. Because it's strong now. It's outside the pawn structure. Uh, I'm going to go Knight here. If he pushes, I'm going to go Queen to C7, probably. Queen's quite good on c6 and uh, on d6 now, so that's pretty good. Um, let's put a knight in here, and we'll probably try and go f4, f5. Oh, we probably can't go f5, just because. Um, okay, now my knight gets in, I can play f6. Probably if the knight jumps into e5. Ah, now we'll go f5. We'll get a nice pawn here, so we have a lot of control on the f file now. So we're in a quite quite a strong position on the f file, and I might even play. Rook f7. If he takes here, I can just take this rook, I think. Oh, have I made a mistake already? <laughs> it's quite possible. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to go check here. Yeah, this will be mating too if he takes here, though. Check. King has to go across, and then it's mating on the back rank. So he has to play that. Now I'm going to try and put my queen on d5 and hold this position. It's not super, but we might be able to hang on. If I can trade queens, I think this pawn will be a... Uh, a good piece for me. Let's go back here and push. No, it's it's risky if I push my pawns. That's the problem. Um, that is <laughs> giving up this pawn if I take it, but it is weakening his structure. So uh, let's go queen here and try and trade. And I'm going to try and just run my king over to pick up these pawns, to be honest. Now I'm threatening to win this pawn. Oh, I thought he was going to play queen here. Okay. Uh, let's go queen check. Grab this guy. Queen can come back to defend if needed. I have equal time with my opponent. He's going to pick up this b7 pawn. 
or we could have. Um, I'm going to play queen here to defend this. Take here, play here, and probably just try and check the king to death. Get this pawn, which is nice. Okay, let's run the king if I can. Oh yes, now I get in like this. No, I don't. Hang on. Let's push this pawn. Um, I don't know what to do. I've only got two seconds. Okay, he may... Oop, let's pre-move that. Oh no, wrong pre-move. Okay, I didn't lose. Can't lose. That's good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I lost on... Well, I lost on time, but at the same time, he didn't pay... Um, He didn't punish my pre-move, so... Okay, find a new opponent now. We've got three three games left. That was not not the most efficient game. I'm still playing pretty slowly. I'm going to transpose this into a Samish Kins Indian. Uh, I don't think I push there. I think I just play Queen D2 and Castle. I'll we'll push now. And I think this is just winning a pawn for me. Let's just come back. This pawn is pinned. So I'm just going to go here so that I can capture with a pawn. Um, every th okay, he can probably just take that, but I might be able to go h4, h5. Okay, so knight f2 castles, but my knight will be pinned. It's important to note. Uh, okay, castle. King away. So I can get my knight to d d3, maybe. Yep. Okay, so he's just going to take here? That'd be pretty interesting. I would have a nice square here. Okay, let's stop a knight getting into this square. That's important. Also hitting the bishop, threatening to trade it off, which I'll be happy to do. Um, what's, let's just put a rook on the C file. And what? Um, I don't really have many plans here. Let's go G4. Kick this knight back. And then maybe... Whoa. Ah, nice. That's a, that's a nice skewer. I might take the knight, though, when this bishop's hanging. And I might be able to take on G6 as well. Um, yeah. Now we'll go H4, H5, maybe? Just put more pressure on these light squares. Oh, he's going to get a rook to the h file. That's that's actually bad for me. <laughs> As if that's surprising. That that's bad for me. It's very bad. And now he can probably... No, he can't take there. Ugh, this is really bad. Um, for those of you playing along at home, this is really bad. Hit the queen and the bishop. So we're forking pieces there. And let's go here. Oh, it's just made on h1. Oh, I think he had mate on h1. Uh, I can't even check the king. I'm going to have to take that bishop, maybe? My bishop's defended by my knight. Take the rook if I can. Just go here. Oh, no, he's just going to play h, yeah. This is bad. I think I was going to lose that game anyway. But down 13 seconds. I think I tried to what? Tried to attack his king where my pieces weren't ready. I think that was the biggest mistake in that game. So we're one and a half, one and a half in this bullet battle. One and a half, one and a half. So pretty good so far. See if we can't get at least one and a half in the next two games. We're against Candidate Master Montanez. Montanez. Whoa, here he comes with h5, h4. Is he going to sack the exchange? I think so, and I think I'm getting mated shortly. Um, yes. I want to say f5 is an option. <laughs> <clears throat> and I want to say bishop f6 is important here to stop knight f knight g5. And I might play queen e8 here, try and trade the queens. And bishop and queen here now protects this pawn again. So I think the defense so far has proven successful until he plays this but I think I can just take that and what just overprotect this pawn and try and get my pieces out right my knight at least gains a tempo with this attack I can't take it yet um knight g5 I don't think worries me overly that's probably pretty loud outside I'm gonna shut the window just in case uh, my knight covers d8 fortunately but he can maybe push this pawn so I might try and uh, just develop my bishop to cover d8, so my knight can move now. Um, that That's all defended. Let's try this. If the, if the pawn takes, it's no longer attacking f5, so f5 will be a bit more protected. And if he pushes, then I can probably just bring my rook to e8 or something. My dark squares are horribly weak, though. So if I maybe play king h8 and knight g8, something like that might be an option to kill that bishop. Okay, I'm going to go here anyway to cover f6. 
This is covered. This pawn is very, very covered here. Might go G, G, uh, B6 and C5. Try and get some protection happening. Um, let's just blockade that square. And try and go here and... What, he's going to send a take on this square? Uh, yes, trade queens. That's v I'm very happy with the queen trade. Oh, I should have taken here first, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, that's letting him get at my bishop, which is unfortunate. Unless he just takes my bishop. Oh, didn't expect that. Oh, that's he's. Uh, whoa, never mind. Rook check. Take here, go here. Or take the bishop first. Okay, I got him on time. Wasn't exactly. I was under the pump pretty much all game, but I played fast enough to get the win. So we're on two and a half out of five. At least this is going to be a draw for the bullet battle. And we have a rematch against Mr. Montez and see if we can't get a victory here. Whoa. Not used to that move. I'm really not used to that move. It's probably because of this we'll follow up, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play Queen C2, try and hit the knight, force the trade, and play H A3 rather. Kick that bishop. Oh, this bishop has to. Yeah, it has to capture. Uh, I guess Queen takes. He's going to take here with his knight, I suspect. Um, maybe not. I'm just going to castle. Try and get safe. Give him the pawn back, you know, and play bishop here, I suppose. And maybe just my king will be safe enough on e2. Maybe. I've got to play a bit faster, though. So, let's um, just push and try and disrupt his pawn structure, even though it lets him get active. Yeah, <laughs> I've got to just keep that, keep that, um, keep that pawn... Not good. <laughs> my position's crumbling already. But maybe my rooks can get active enough. He's hitting that pawn. Maybe I can play what? Queen e2, and if d2, I can play rook d1. And just take. King e2, and then takes. Yeah, king e2, and takes. So my king will be protecting f3, or king g2, I guess. Queen b2 is strong, though. Um, yeah, this is bad. H yeah, I'm just... Everything seems to be crumbling here. Okay, let's go rook up and maybe pawn push and then rook over or something like that. It's not great. Maybe rook to b4. Let's go here. Oh, can he... No, he can't play that. Bring my rook back to defend that guy. <laughs> it's kind of important. Um, let's pawn up. I don't know exactly know what I'm doing here. Let's trade. Threatening checks. Go here. You can take here, but yeah, that's actually pretty good. Damn. Okay. Rook here is going to have to do. I've oh, got one second. That's not good. <laughs> and that's mate. Okay. So soundly beaten just then. Didn't really, didn't really deserve to win that one anyway. Um, well, that's that bullet battle, guys. Got two and a half out of five, which is I'm pretty happy with. I ended up losing a bit of rating points. I think that was due to a loss against the 1860. Or well, maybe I lost to a 1900 or so. But we got a victory against a candidate master. So all in all, I think that's actually a pretty good result. If you like this video, make sure you actually like the video. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff on YouTube. Make sure, you, make sure, most importantly, that you subscribe for all this content that I'm releasing. Bullet battles, tactics of the day, um, me, myself solving tactics, all my Twitch content, all of that stuff. Um, and yeah, give me some feedback if you would like, and I'm just hoping that you enjoyed the stream, uh, the video rather. So, uh, until next time guys, I'll see you later, and make sure you always stay classy. Peace!